gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 65.6. He's 26, stands 5'11". He fights out of BST and hails from Peterborough, Josh Robin Hall. Yeah. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 65.9. He's 23, stands 5'7". He fights out of Asylum Valley, Judo and hails from Leeds by way of London, Harry Engay Edwards. Your referee, Mr. Stephen Georgian. So we are ready to rock and roll with this one. So again, one of the same rules, it's amateur. Three, three minute rounds. No twisting submissions. No elbows. No knees to the head. No knees to the head, huh? That's right. And the, obviously the larger gloves like you mentioned earlier. Ooh, tries to set that right hand up there. Low, wide stance for Edwards. Josh got to be careful. He keeps dropping that left hand and... We know that Edwards has got a good, good right hand on him. Yeah, well, Edwards dragged the hips away from the fence, but really good work from Hood. Same sort of stance as, like, the... Uh, the muscle shark himself. Trav. Oh, Sean Shirk. Sean out. Shirk, mate. Spent a bit of time with him in the past. You still talk to him now? No. Yeah. Didn't have the best uh, finish to our relationship. So here. Hey. Edward stalking forward again with that low stance. He's got those powerful, thick legs as well. You've got that low stance, gets real power into your punches. Yeah, like, like I was saying, he, he, he can get low into that takedown as well, with it, and he has done so far, and he's, he's now now putting a bit of, bit of pressure on the feet. Level changes are there constantly as well. So he can maybe get his down. He got caught with that head kick there, though. He did. Hood's constantly changing southpaw and orthodox, constantly making Edwards think, and then he went up high there with the left leg. He's using that hair pressure now. So Josh, Robin Hood there, just trying to get that underhook. So double unders now. And now he can start to, to dictate a little bit. And he, and he has oh. done it, and that was a head kick there right across the chin. A right hook after it. So you've got a nice knee up the middle, the head kick, and then that right hook. Fair play to Edwards, he took those shots well. Yeah, just Josh Robin Hood just doesn't seem to have, like, he has a real good accuracy, but that power doesn't seem to massive be there. It looks like he's a bit stumbled there when he, when he was going backwards. Yeah, there's no sharpness in the shots. No, the, high, but the fluid, the flowing, but there's just not that sharpness, that zip that he needs. Yeah, there seems to just be something lacking with it at the minute, but maybe it's just to find an out round and trying to work out, oh, what's going to, what's going to work for them. Again, he's got, he's got to be careful getting caught with that, that the head kick. And he seems to be struggling, does Edwards, to try and finish that takedown. Edwards with the knees into the leg. Well, the hood corner, definitely happy for that first round. Yeah, 100% they will be. I think he had the, the, the better of the exchanges. But the one thing I will say, and I sort of brushed on it early on in the round, power just doesn't seem to be there from hood. No, it doesn't. And, and, and I think down to the fact he's not sort of setting his feet and zipping those shots in, he's... He's just sort of flowing a bit like he's sparring. Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. It just seems to to be great movement, don't get me wrong. But I think Edwards needs to step up a little bit with these takedowns. Because so far, the takedowns just haven't been there, have they? No, they haven't, not. So instructions from Danny Mitchell and Liam Can there. Two good coaches and cornermen. 
giving instructions to Edwards. Let's see how these fighters come out different. I know the, the cornerman there for Josh Hood as well has been very vocal during the round. He seemed happy with his fighter in that first round. Let's yeah. see what they wanted more of for round number two. Oh, good shot there. Oh, that was a big Huge right hand, right hand a big left top. kick coming straight back at him. And you can see there, Chechen Danny calling him to come forward there, saying, come on. He knows that he's landed that shot. He needs to not let him off the hook. Yeah, he needs to really put the pressure on Hood now. Because Edwards, he needs, to, he needs to start to take that centre of the cage, start to work his way through. Nice, good level change, really nice. Double leg there, rushed him back, did everything perfectly to get him down, but he's just unable to hold him down at the minute. Well, it's interesting that the corner team of Josh Hood were saying he's getting tired because he's using power and not technique. Now, that's very interesting when you look at the way that we've described Hood as uh, using a lot of technique but not a lot of power. He's not setting his feet, he's working in. I do think it's important to find a nice balance between the two. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, Hood does need to set his feet a little bit more, but maybe the game plan is to try to land the shots and work that sort of smooth striking and then start to put the power in later. Yeah, I could not agree more, Ian, with that. I think he got a good little exchange there where he's maybe looking towards taking the back. Not quite got it, though. Put them hands together, but he's fighting the hands really well. He's Josh Robin Hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I noticed is uh, Josh Hood's listening to his corner is absolutely yeah. immaculate. He, he's listening and his corner giving him good advice and he's working well with it. That was good wrestling there. Again, Edwards managed to power himself up, but Edwards is looking tired. Maybe the corner have got a very good plan. They caught on that exchange though. The corner is screaming that he's tired, which I, I do agree, he does look tired, but he might be tired, but he has power in them hands. Yeah, and then you see the, the wobble of Josh Hood as he walks back off. You know, the, the impact of those shots is making a difference. Good knees, good knees down the middle, that's like that tight plum clinch there. The corner really biting here, and he's gone to try to do exactly what they've asked him to do. Yep, the corner of Hood are asking him to take him down and look for a submission now that he's tired. So. Oh, nice shot down that midsection again with the knees. That's the end of the uh, second round there. and. I'd probably say that he probably is two rounds up. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they've, they've been close. Just the work rate and, and the effectiveness of, of what he's what he's throwing seems to be far ahead of the stuff that Harry Edwards is, is sort of catching him back with. Although Edwards did rock him at one point. Yeah, with he that did. Right hand. So it was a big right hand, and he he seemed to stumble off his legs. There was a couple of times actually when he backed away. He did look like. He'd been rocked, but is their game plan, you know, we, we, we talked about flowing and, 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 and working smooth and keeping that pace up, is the game plan now for him to step things up, try to look for the takedown and try to work a very tired Harry Edwards? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I think does, he may see him come out and try and take him down. If it does, I'd be very impressed with the game plan put together by the, the BST team there. Yeah. There you go. So straight for that takedown, as we as we expected, because of the, the corner advice we could hear before. They've stuck with that game plan. Josh needs to get him down now, but this is actually looking like a little bit harder than I think he probably anticipated. Yeah, but he's, he's trying to do it in the own corner. That was a nice flip over there. Both, go, both guys showing good balance here. He's got that head control just charging round. Again, 
Josh Hood just still taking out of centre, just trying to work. He's, he, he's had two failed takedowns himself now, though, Ian. Yeah, I mean, oh. there's a solid head kick. Again, he can catch it, but that power just isn't there to, to put him away. No, but again, the head kick coming back just to try and give him one back, and there's no power there. Walked onto a punch from Edwards. He's in the clinch, nice uppercut yeah, from Edwards good, inside. Do a bit of boxing there with that lovely uppercut on the inside. Nearly yeah, caught that left head kick again there, but luckily Edwards seen it coming and threw it through at the same time. Yeah, he's well, now going for the takedown as Edwards well. For the takedown, I think Hood has found it harder than he thought he would to get the takedown. Ed, Edwards might be tired, but he's very strong, solid base, and now he's the one looking for the takedown against Hood. Again, good listening from from uh, Josh Hood. Edwards struggling to, to get anything out of this fight. He needs he needs a big knockout or a big stoppage, I believe. And again, that shoot. He just shot from outside. He didn't set it up with anything. It'd have been better, you know, trying to fire some strikes and then dropping down and changing that level. Just a little too predictable there. Looking very, very tired now. Good head kick there. But again, not mass amounts of power, but great no, accuracy. But he's flowing and yeah. he's landing some sharp strikes on the counter here while he's moving backwards. He has good movement, similar to like a Brendan Lockman sort of movement where he's peppering and moving and peppering and keeps like catching some of the shots and a uh, young well, point in his not, career. There's not going to be a finish and it'll be interesting to see how the judges have scored. We've been... We've not agreed with a lot of the judges' decisions. There's, there's been... So, well, like I said, it seems to be like one judge on our side and two against. Yeah, I, I'm, I, be, I'm going to say the same again as what... You know, I'm probably going to go with, with Josh Robin Hood there winning at least two of the three rounds there. Yeah, I, I, I think you're probably right there. But Harry Edwards again... He had good spells in each of the three rounds. Oh, absolutely! You know, he did he did some really good stuff. I just it would be interesting to see if the, how the judges look at it with just the, the 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 lack of power in the shots for Josh Hood. Yeah, I think that, that that's been a, a a big big issue or could be a big issue, especially in the future. But it can be worked on. It can be worked on. Let's hand over to the judges for the official decision. Three hard fought rounds will go to the judges and scorecard. We have a split decision in favour of your winner, Harry Engen Edwards. Please show your appreciation for Josh Hood. Again, there, Jamie, the judges yeah. not quite with us, and I think, you know, it, it, again, it's a split decision. Yeah, I, I'm, um, there's definitely, definitely, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shocked with that, but again, we were shocked earlier on as well. It was, he, by the way, he's in no way a robber, I'm not saying he's a robber or anything like that. Oh, we've said this already. They've all been close, and been it just close, shows, yes, shows very close. Which, which criteria the judges are looking at. And again, it seems like one judge is looking at the same as us, and two of them aren't. 